And now, for everyone's favorite game show, it's Two What's and a Wow! The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what? <laughs> and the category for today is colors. Mindy, why don't you give us a rundown of how the game works? You know it, Guy Raz. Wowzers, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three statements about colors. But, and this is a big but. Only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what's. If you guess the wow, congratulations, you get a point. But if you don't guess the wow, you must stop, drop, and do a redonkulous physical challenge. Woohoo! Okay, who's ready to play? Here we go. Round one. Which of the following statements about colors is a true scientific wow? Is it A, the inside of black holes are actually purple? Or is it B, the sun's light contains all the colors of the rainbow, but to us, it looks white? Or is it C, no matter what planet you're on, the sky always appears blue in the daytime? When you think you have the answer, write it out in finger paint. Uh, thinking music, please. And time is up. Let's reveal the winning wow. And to do just that, Joining us by phone, it's Bowen from Guam. Bowen, tell us, what's the wow? Hi, Mindy and Go Guys. My name is Bowen, and my wow of the world is that the sun is made out of all of the colors of the rainbow, and it, to us, it looks white. Winner, winner, rainbows for dinner! Thank you, Bowen. If you guessed the answer B, the sun's light contains every color of the rainbow, but to us, it looks white. You found the winning wow. Great job. The sun gives off white light, which is a combination of every color of light all at once. But when sunlight passes through something like a water droplet, it splits into individual colors. That's why rainbows are visible when it's both raining and sunny out. Now. If you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and get sucked into an invisible black hole. Do it. Do it. All right, ready for round two? Here we go. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, the first color that human babies can see is yellow? Or is it B? Octopuses can turn six different colors. Or is it C? Parakeets are especially drawn to the color orange. When you think you have the answer, tap it out in Morse code. <laughs> uh, thinking music, please. Time is up. Let's reveal the winning wow. <laughs> and calling in with the answer, it's Emmy from Alaska. Emmy, tell us, what's the wow? Hi, Mindy and Guy Raz. My wow in the world is that my pet fish, Seaglass, she comes when she's called. And also that um, octopuses can turn six different colors. Those colors are red, orange, brown, yellow, or black. Winner, winner, octopus! 
was ink for dinner. Thank you, Emmy. If you guessed the answer B, that octopuses can turn six different colors, then congratulations, you found the winning wow. The special cells in our skin called chromatophores allow octopuses to turn red, orange, yellow, brown, black, and white. They can also change texture with small bundles of muscles called papillae. Octopuses sometimes change their appearance to hide from predators by blending in with their surroundings. But sometimes they turn a bright color to tell predators, hey, don't eat me. Congratulations to everyone who guessed the winning wow. But if you did not, you must stop, drop, and change color and texture just like an octopus. Uh, Mindy, uh, my skin doesn't really do that. <laughs> yeah, right. Next you're going to tell me that you don't have any tentacles or ink sacs, Guy Raz. <laughs> uh, okay, round three. Which of the following statements is the true scientific wow? Is it A, rainbow papayas have pink skin, yellow flesh, and purple seeds? Or is it B, yogurt made from sheep's milk is naturally orange? Or is it C, bees once made blue and green honey after picking up waste from an M&M factory? When you think you have the answer, yell it into your fridge. <laughs> Reggie, cue the thinking music. And time is up. Let's reveal the winning wow. Joining us by phone, it's Cameron from California. Tell us, what's the wow? Hi, Mindy and Guy Ross. My wow is that honeybees once made blue and green honey after picking up colorful waste from an M&M's factory. Winner, winner, blue and green honey for dinner! Thank you, Cameron. If you guessed the answer C, that bees once made blue and green honey after picking up waste from an M&M factory, then you correctly guessed the winning wow. The color of honey can differ based on what kinds of flowers the bees were snacking on at the time. And in 2012, some bees in the town of Ribeauville, France, were eating the colorful residue left behind by M&M's candy coating. And that made the honey just as colorful. Congratulations to everyone who guessed the correct wow. But if you did not, you must stop drop and buzz like a bee that ate way too much candy. <gasps> what was that? It's time for today's Bonker Balls bonus round. And the question for this round is, where did I put Guy Raz's house keys? You lost my house keys? Oh, wait, I didn't even know you had my keys. Well, not anymore, I know. So we're both locked out of my house? Don't worry, Guy Raz. You can hang out at my gingerbread mansion until you find my keys. And while you're there, you can help me unclog my bathtub. It's definitely a two-person job. <laughs> Congratulations to all of today's winning wowzers. We are sending you each home with a special invisible gift. Reggie, roll out the prize generator. <laughs> This machine will spit out a fabulous random prize in three different parts, so you never know what you're gonna get. Wow. And it makes hot cocoa. Huh? Here, try a cup, Guy Raz. Mmm, this is the best cocoa I've ever had. <laughs> and the invisible prize it generates is gonna be even better. Fire up that machine, Reg. <laughs> All of our contestants today will be taking home their very own Invisible, spiky, balloon box! Keep your balloons nice and safe in this box full of spikes. Oh, let's try that again. Oh, just one more time. Uh, I think I'd rather just have the cocoa. 
<laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today, Wowzers. But before we go, we have a little steam-themed challenge for you. We call it Rain Wow! For this challenge, we want you to make your very own rainbow. So go outside with a grown-up on a sunny day and take a spray bottle full of water. This will work best when the sun is low in the sky, like in the late afternoon. Face away from the sun and spray, spray, spray. And ta-da! Your very own rainbow. Don't forget to take a photo or video. Grown-ups, you can upload pictures and videos to us at tinkercast.com slash share. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World. And again on Friday for a new episode of Two What's and a Wow. Until then, keep, keep on wowing. wowing.